trying to. We're on a, a pause. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are uh, back in session. Uh, so this is a uh, it's a standing rule change. It's probably 8.2, but I will recognize Kate Secor at the podium. Uh, Mr. Chairperson, I would like to move to insert into the standing rules uh, this section about written responses to new business. Uh, reading any written responses to new business to be distributed at the business meeting must be submitted following the procedures for new business, not later than 14 days before the first preliminary business meeting. The originators of the motion must be sent a copy and given an opportunity to submit a reply to be distributed at the same time and in the same manner. Is there a second? second. Okay, the motion has been uh, moved and seconded. Um, at this time, I'm going to recuse myself and allow my deputy to take over presiding. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a standing rule amendment. It would, if passed here, would take effect at next year's business meeting. Uh, the chair suggests a debate time of four minutes. Is there any objection? Hearing none, four minutes. The chair recognizes uh, Ms. Seagor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair Chairman. <laughs> um, oh, so uh, wait a minute. Actually, that's a good point. No, uh, Kevin Stanley, he, him, address the forum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this year, we had something happen that I've never seen happen before. Um, people brought written responses to things that were moved in the business meeting. Um, I love that people are thinking this deeply about the changes that we're making and putting in the time and effort to share those thoughts when they're too long to make in a two minute speech. Uh, I agree with Nicholas that it's a little unfair that those arguments don't get made in a way that the originators of the motion can answer. Um, so what I'm trying to do is make it uh, one so that the business meeting staff has a way to respond to those kinds of things you know we now have a procedure for that and knows that they're coming and two so that the makers of the motions that are being leafleted to for lack of a better term that I can think of right now uh, know what arguments are being made and have a chance to reply in the same way um, it's mostly I've never seen this happen before. I, it appeared that we did not have a procedure for dealing with it, and there is some angst about how it was dealt with. Um, whether that was right or wrong is not within my purview. So I would like us to have a procedure so that future business meetings can say, yes, there's a procedure, here's what it is, this is how you do this. Um, I understand that the wording is a little bit torturous, but that's why we have nitpicking and fly specking. Will you yield for a question? I, do I have time to yield for a question? How much time do you got? Uh, 40 seconds. Yes. I understand. Microphone, please. Red mic. My, red mic coming to you, please. You can stay there. Mike can come to you. I'll get closer and make it quicker. I understand your motion. What I don't know is what would happen if somebody did leaflet if this passed. I am not a parliamentarian, nor am I a chair. What would you like to see happen if you were in the chair? Uh, if someone submits a motion not using this procedure, I would say that their thing is out of order and have it removed. But I am not on the business meeting staff, and therefore that's a deep hypothetical that it's probably inappropriate of me to address. Sorry. And furthermore, the chair of this meeting refuses to address this hypothetical question. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, I was saving someone's time. Is the, is the member asking, to, the, are, are you asking him for a, yielding for a question? If there is time. About 10 seconds? There's like... 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Well, if you can make it quick. Blue mic. Uh, what is your intention that the deadline for the originator of the motion to reply should be? Uh, I have not specified one. I, I would like to see something on the order of by seven days before, but I don't. I know people are real busy before Worldcon, so I didn't put one in on purpose. Time for debate in favor of the proposed motion has. The secretary is catching up, so I will, I'm, I'm, more, I'm not going to finish wait, uh, calling for another person until we're ready on that. But time for debate in favor of the proposed standing rule change has expired. Once the secretary is caught up, I will complete the incantation. Okay. Is there a speech against? In, 
Given his position, I'm going to recognize Mr. Eastlake at the main lectern as the parliamentarian because of that. Uh, Donald Eastlake, he him moved to refer to the nitpicking and flyspecking committee. Is there a second? Uh, that's debatable. Do you wish to debate it in favor of it? Apparently not. Is there, is there anyone else who wishes to speak in favor of the motion to refer to committee? Uh, yes. Terry. My name is Terry Neal and I use she, her pronouns and uh, I completely agree with the intent behind this, but as with other uh, attempting to do things on the floor during this meeting, um, I think it would uh, be very useful to have a year at the nitpicking and fly specking committee so that they can comb through the rest of the constitution and uh, get this right the first time instead of passing something that they then have to fix. A moment. No, no, we divide it up for this motion. So that's 45 seconds, 45 seconds each. Okay. Is, there a, is there a speech against the motion to debate? I mean, to refer, rather. There's a parliamentary inquiry, a microphone. If you, if you, you either can come here or you can hand a microphone to Blue Mike. Blue Mike, then, thank you. Name? Uh, Rafe Richards, he, him. Uh, could I clarify whether this is a proposal to refer to committee to report? At the business meeting, it seems certain we are having tomorrow or next year. Next the, year. It's next year, and the, the chair, the, yeah, sorry, the chair is taking that as a motion to refer this to the nitpicking and flag specking committee with uh, instructions to report it next year. Okay. Is there a speech against the motion to refer? Thirty <laughs> this, seconds each. Uh, there's about yeah, about thirty seconds each way. So, uh, Mr. Falchuk, at the lectern. Rick Kowalczyk, he, him. Um, where I agree that we probably need to think about this some more, I think hearing some more opinions from the general body here would be worthwhile before referring. Uh, is there, let me see, that was a speech against referral. There's about 30 seconds of debate in favor of referrals. Anyone who wishes to speak in favor of referral? Anyone else want to speak against? No. You, no. Uh, Ms. Dinneroff uh, at the lectern. Linda Dinneroff, she, her, whatever. Um, as, as the BM secretary for many, many years, we finally got it so that business needs to be submitted 30 days in advance, which I truly appreciated this year. It seems to me that this sort of nullifies that because all of a sudden somebody can write a response 15 days before the business meeting and then somebody gets a chance to respond to that. And first of all, it's going to extend the agenda very, very heavily. Um, secondly. Time for debate has expired. Oh, okay. I believe that's run everything out. On, we're, the question on the floor is to refer this to the nitpicking and fly specking committee with instructions to report to next year. This is a majority vote required. All those in favor of referring this to the nitpicking and fly specking committee, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed to referral, raise your hands. Hands down. The affirmative has it. The motion is referred to the nitpicking and fly specking committee with instructions to report next year. The chair now yields back to the permanent chair.